Hey, what is up mortals? It is James Seifer here, and before we get into today's video, there's a few things I'd like to say. Firstly, we're getting so close to 3,000 subscribers, so please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Secondly, there's a link in the description to my Discord, and lastly, if you have any loose change and feel like supporting the channel, feel free to check out my Patreon in the description down below. Now, into the video. This is part 2 of What If All For One Was Deku's Dad. Where we left off last time, All Might had just found the sludge villain, but was out of power. Azuku had decided to head home. On his way home, he decides to call his dad, who picks up, and they talk for a bit. Azuku talks about how he met All Might and how All Might told him he couldn't be a hero. All For One tries to cheer him up and tells Azuku that nothing can stop him from being a hero if that's what he really wants to be. He tells him that he can prove All Might wrong. This doesn't really cheer Azuku up, but it does make him feel a little bit better about himself. Now back over with Small Might and Bakugo. Small Might is standing there beating himself up over the fact that he cannot help Bakugo, while Bakugo is fighting for his life. The other heroes are just standing around not being able to do much. Bakugo eventually strains himself, trying to stay alive, and as a last ditch effort, he releases a massive explosion downwards, launching himself into the sky. The sludge villain slowly slides off him as he rockets further and further into the air. After a few seconds, the sludge villain loses all grip on him and begins to fall back down to the ground. Bakugo passing out at this point due to the strain, begins to fall. Small Might, seeing all of this, is inspired to act. He buffs up and jumps into the air catching Bakugo. The two land several blocks away. Bakugo is still unconscious and after a few minutes he wakes up and to his shock All Might is standing there in front of him. Ha ha ha! Young man! Your sheer determination and willingness to not give up, no matter how bleak the odds were, it inspired me to act. To go beyond my own limits. Thank you. Because of your determination and sheer force of will, I want you to be my successor. All Might then goes on to explain what One For All is and he offers the quirk to Bakugo who is physically fit enough to handle it. Bakugo accepts his offer and All Might pulls a hair out and holds it out to him. Eat this, then tomorrow your training will commence. Back with Izuku, he is at home waiting in his room for his dad. He was waiting for his dad to call him for what feels like an eternity. Little did Izuku know that he had slowed down time. Eventually, after several hours had passed, for Izuku that is, his dad finally calls. He tells him that he's going to be coming home for the next few months. He also tells Izuku that he's going to help him train and get ready for the UA exams. This gives Izuku the inspiration that he needs to try one last time for his dream. Over the next few months, Izuku and his dad go to the gym, and they train physically. After about two months of doing this physical training, Izuku starts to notice something. He's been noticing weird things happening around, especially of time. Sometimes things are just taking longer than they should. All for one has at times forcibly activated Izuku's quirk just to make him notice it more. On the third month of weird things happening, Izuku starts to think that he might have a quirk. He begins to try every possible thing he could to think to activate it. One of the first things he tries is focusing really, really hard, which actually does seem to do it. Ozuku spends the rest of that day practicing this, and eventually overdoes it, passing out. His quirk seems to drain him of his energy. The more he uses it, the more exhausted he is. When he wakes up, his dad is holding him. Ozuku is covered in cold sweat and mildly shaking. After a few seconds, Ozuku passes out again, waking up the next morning in his bed. After a few seconds, he looks around and actually notices that it's not his bed. In fact, this is not his room. He gets up and notices that he feels fine. He feels perfectly normal again. He heads downstairs to where his dad is. There is someone that Izuku does not recognize making food in the kitchen. All for One explains to Izuku that they're going to be staying there for the next month. During this time, they're going to try and train Izuku's quirk. Over the next month, Izuku learns some of the features of his quirk. They also figure out how much the quirk slows down time by. It appears to slow down time by 60 times, meaning that one normal second is one minute while using the quirk. He also notices that it's harder to move while the quirk is active. They figure that this is because of air resistance. Now, back with Bakugo. All Might has had him clear out the beach. What took Izuku eight months only took him two. Bakugo keeps asking All Might when they're really gonna train and when All Might's going to teach him how to control the quirk. All Might finally gives in and begins to train one-on-one -on -one with Bakugo. After a few days of training, All Might asks Bakugo why he isn't trying to use both quirks at once. 
Up until this point, Bakugo has just seen them as two completely different quirks, and not as something that he could use together. When he starts trying to use them both together, he notices that the explosions are far more powerful, but it also comes with far more drawbacks. This being that whenever he fires his quirk now, the force that it's applying onto his arm is increased by a lot. He spends some of his downtime trying to come up with a way to counter this drawback, and what he comes up with is using one for all, all throughout his body. Bakugo is able to use what he calls full body 8% or full 8% for short. This still gives a massive boost to his explosions, but because it's his whole body that is now enhanced, the drawback is lessened. Anyway, that's it for this video. The next video will be about the UA entrance exams. Now, before I end today's video, there's a few things I need to say and ask. Firstly, if anyone is interested in editing some videos for me, join the Discord. We can work out a payment method of some sort. Now secondly, if you have your own what if ideas and you want them read out on this channel, and you may have written your own what ifs, Go to the Discord and post them there, I would love to read out your what ifs to the channel. Lastly, a reminder to like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. And as I always say, have an amazing day, peace out mortals. Eyes in the sky, gazing far, into the night, I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use. Cause you can't stop it from shining through